So over here you can see that I got some video clips on my timeline and if I were to click and drag around the clips, you can see that I can place them wherever I want right here. So here you can see that there's a little, little bit of transition which I'm going to delete. So if I were to click and drag the clips out right around when it reaches out the close part, you can see that it snaps into place. So it's not very, very close, but it snaps into place. And this feature allows us to make sure that there is no gaps whatsoever in between the clips. But if you don't want that to be the case, so if you don't want the objects to snap, that is the clips to snap, then you can click on the snapping button right here. That is this magnetic icon. And what happens is that uh, the snapping feature will be there no more. So let me just go around and zoom in. And if I were to click and drag, you can see that it snaps no more. You can just slide right out. And even there, um, even if there is a few frames of gap right here, it does not snap together. You can click on the uh, um, uh, snapping icon right here. And then what happens is that it snaps into place again uh, when, when this is turned on. So snapping en enables you to make sure that there is no gaps in between clips when you're working visually. But if you don't want that, and if you uh, want to have control over each, like small frames as well, then you may want to consider turning off snapping. So that is how you can work around with the snap option inside of Shortcut. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.